I am not excited to talk about this again. I am not excited to talk about this movie again. Again. Look at this, people. Looks like I'm going to have to talk about this movie again because you know why? Back in January, this movie got completely leaked. And not only because this movie got completely leaked, it was leaked around the whole world on Twitter. I don't know who leaked it, but you know why. And it's too late for Paramount and Netflix now because they already saw what happened. And oh my god, I can't believe this. This movie is so bad. I, I, I don't really want to talk about this at all. I do not want to talk about this movie again. But, and this time, I'm only going to do it a little bit quick because I am not going to be talking about this much longer. And I'm not, I may be a little long, but that's just about it. So yeah, as you may know, Saint Chicks have got her own movie. And I was really kind of, now, let me just tell you this. I was kind of a little bit excited to see Saint Chicks have his own movie. I was a little bit really excited for this one, even before I love Spongebob. But, of course... This movie got completely trash. And I'm going to talk about this right now. So yeah, even for this movie got leaked back in January, and I was not really surprised. I also talked about this back in January. Also, I did a other video talk about this before back in January. I did a full with fear with no spoilers in it. But actually, this was a spoilers, by the way. Oh yeah, there was going to be spoilers in this movie because the movie was already been leaked. So there's going to be spoilers coming. But however, yeah, I am not excited to talk about this movie again. As much as I love the previous Spongebob movies, yeah, you know why. However, I have already talked about Sponge on the one, and I found it really decent. Now, I'm not saying I did not hate this movie or anything. Yeah, there were some parts that were trash, except like Cam Cole. But however, I prefer Cam Cole. Like, I, not Cam Cole, Cam Cole was garbage. Um... I prefer Sponge on the one than this. Let's just go ahead and talk about this. But I just want to get this over with. So yeah, um, yeah, the Seven Key Bottom, the Saint Chicks movie. Yeah, this movie got only been like back in January. I don't know why I have to talk about this again, but I, I just want to get this over with. And I'm gonna say this right now. This is the worst SpongeBob movie so far. This is the worst one I have ever seen. Well, let's just get this over with. The story. Now, we could understand why the story has to be go focused because um, there was a big scoop claw, whatever I call it, and then it was dragging up the kitty bottom and tag it to that um slate, that, that surface, of course. Oh, trust me, we're talking about that very soon. And the surface, however, so we got like the scientists of ever whatever I freaking call it, and then the villain, I'm gonna call it one of Sykes, and oh god, you made one of Sykes so fucking dirty. Um, however, I will tell you, like, like, and after the whole thing, the thing wanted to have, like, um, you, you know the story, it goes with the creatures of sea pals, like, be like real life big toys, like the sea pal toys, right? Right? Yeah. And so he's sending in Spongebob up to save them to get the key bomb back including the friends. What's the point of the story then? The story is not good. Not good at all. There has been a lot of subplots in this movie. Too many of them. Actually not many but a few. You got like Saint Cheeks meeting his family, of course. I was kind of liking that idea, by the way. Like, I really like that kind of idea because we're finally gonna see Saint Cheeks family. And the only big problem with the family is about the nieces because there was an episode of SpongeBob where Sunny has three nieces, but Nickelodeon doesn't really give a fuck. So, however, we're gonna have two random nieces instead. Nickelodeon and Paramount, you guys are just freaking F up. Um, and also you got like the surface ones, and there were so many of them, good freaking god. This is just like SML booking guy all over again. However, I'm just like not surprised there was a surface movie of course. Just like they did Sponge at the Water and Sponge at the One. 
You know, I put some sponge on the water than these two. Keep in mind about that. Anyways, um, and also, I forgot about this because I only watched this movie back in January. And no, I did not watch this again because this movie has already been awake, so I don't even want to watch it again. So, yeah. I forgot about some scenes about it, by the way. Yeah, I already know Santa Cheeks has a family, by the way. And, um, yeah, sorry about my camera, y'all. It's just a bit... That way I have picture of it. And, um... Santa Cheeks' family, yeah, that's the only main focus I could think of. And surface scene was just not good at all. Pretty bad. Also, there was a scene with Spongebob, however. Oh, my God. We're gonna talk about that very soon. And also, um... There was the wow snake scenes, and they were just meh. And also, yeah. And Sandy Jones the circus. And guess what? There was no plot backstory for it. You guys really fucked that up. How the wooden Sandy Cheeks joined the circus? No one did tell us in the series. No one. Nobody. Nobody did tell us in the series. What you all done then? Huh? What you guys done? What did you all guys done? There was no backstory of saying chicks during the circus. No freaking backstory. The rest of the other movie is just garbage. I'm going to just say this now. The, the, the other storylines and everything, the pup and everything, yeah, that was just poor list. And however, the story, however, is just completely bad. I'm not going to just talk more about this because I already talked about this before back in January. So I don't recommend this to this. To this and I, I'm just like this over with. Now let's talk about the animation. Now did we do realize the animation has like um, different arc styles of Spongebob movies. And you know I put from all of the three Spongebob movies from um the first Spongebob movie involves just 2D. You know it's just always 2D so that doesn't really count. But for Sponge Out of Water and Sponge Out of One, I do love those animations. I do perform those than that. However, even though there was a, a third sequence with Sponge on Out of Water when they were turning like like they go to 3D and then turn into superheroes, I do love that. I do love the animation of it, and I perform much of that. And also Sponge Out of One, I do love the animation. I do really enjoy watching the animation. I love it from that movie. Sure, the movie was not good, but you do really like give it decent, you know. However, yeah, I still love the animation in this. But for this animation, this movie, a terrible downgrade. I am not kidding. The animation of this movie right here. It's so bad. It's really downgrade. I am not kidding. The only thing I could give credit about this, like the credit of this animation, is just the backgrounds. That's it. Well, just with the key bottom, that's it. Surely, yeah, uh, that, that's just not gonna work. That's not really saying much. Now, the character movements, they're okay, but the character signs, however, Oh my god, let me just tell you this right now. It's bad. Really bad. Not entirely bad, but yeah, the animation downgrade, of course. But there were some scenes, however. You got Spongebob being high dry, right? You remember for that first episode of Spongebob when he doesn't have a helmet from the first, from back in the first season of Spongebob when Spongebob met Sandy, however? Well, as you may not know, right, these sponge up out of surface, like, he's like high dry and needs water and everything, and like high fresh and everything. Oh my lord, never ever do that, bro. It's so cursed. I'm, I'm not kidding, it's really bad as well. Yeah, it's bad, but it's so cursed. Also, you got the, um, the song sequence, right? Well, when there was the, when the song, the beginning of the movie, Mr. Krabs and Patrick got really bad in the animation. The animation, however, is bad with it because you got Mr. Krabs and Patrick being so cheap. Yeah, the animation's cheap as well. You got like very cheap with what you did to Mr. Krabs and Patrick that way. How could you all? How could you all have done that to my favorite characters? You dumb freaking 
Mm. However, and as for the rest of the um, background fishes and everything, including Mr. Puff, terrible. Absolutely terrible animation for those. It's terrible. It's cursed, terrible, and creepy at the same time. You got like these background fishes, they are just like creepy smiling in the place and just disturbing. It's so bad. I am not kidding. It's so bad. It's so cursed and scary at the same time. We think we like this? Good grief, do not do that again. That is so disturbing what you all did for that. However, the only thing I'm willing to give credit of is Squidward being fine. That's it. Squidward is just being fine. But everywhere else will just look like shit. That's it. But Sunny Cheeks, however, is not. Because I do like her design a little bit. And I do appreciate for the fur and everything, so that's good. But oh my god. Sunny got inflated in, this, in that one scene with the werewolf snakes. What have you guys done? Now you got like people who make an ox. Fanox or whatever being so freaking dumb. So thank you Netflix. Thank you Paramount. Thank you Nickelodeon for that. You got other people being so stupid now. Thanks a lot. And that's not it. I mean, the Wild Snakes and CGI, eh, they didn't get much work for me. I think it looks okay, but not the best. Now, I do like Sane's family, however, they do like, um, the animation of them looks okay and good at the same time, but that's about it I could say. Now, for Spongebob, yes, he's okay, but for the freaking, um, being Spongebob being Hydra and everything, just a big hell no. Also, there was one scene that when Spongebob got multiple clones and everything, and clearing with the multiple coins, and not only by that, not only by that, not only by, by multiplying everything, never do that again. It was so disturbing, and I mean really disturbing. Never do that again. Never do that again. I tell you what, never ever do that again. I'm talking about the multiplier SpongeBob's. Of sea pals, you know. But I have heard that the scene got leaked, by the way, of the storyboard, and people was not happy about it either. I did not know about this, by the way, so keep in mind. But when I ever saw the movie got leaked, that's how I saw it. That's just... Never do that again. Never. And you know what? I don't care about the other animations. But you know what's really bad about it? The CGI fish. So bad. It's so freaking bad. <laughs> I hate it. I freaking fuck the animation. It's just it, the animation just so bad. I, I don't. I I hate the animation. It's just really bad and so bad at the same time. I perform the free Spider movies than this. That's why. Now I, I want this done. Let's talk about the characters. Now we already know the characters by their own one personality selves. But you get the point. You got St. Cheeks, however, being the detective, of course, being the main character of the star, of course. But she doesn't get much attention because not only because SpongeBob is joining with Sandy, but there was just too many plots of Sandy for joining the circus and everything and having his own family. Too bad that it didn't work for Sandy because the writers, however, and the animators of the care. And the um, Netflix doesn't care because this movie got late, by the way, and I don't care what Netflix think. Yeah, Paramount, however, know about what happened, so it doesn't really matter. But however, yeah, saying Cheeks in this movie was good, but it didn't much work for her much. Now for Spongebob, oh my god. You know, I feel sorry for Tom Kenny, by the way. Tom Kenny, you know, the man who wrote Spongebob for years. He didn't fall at the 25th anniversary, I forgot I mentioned that earlier, but still. Let me just tell you this, you got Spongebob who being the protagonist and just helping to get it, right? To save, to, to save the key bottom. Not only by that, you got Spongebob doing some stupid shit. 
You got SpongeBob smelling poop. <laughs> you got SpongeBob tickling people's feet. And you got SpongeBob doing the cable joke. What have you done? What have you done to my favorite character of SpongeBob all this time? What have you all done? What did you all done? What have you guys done to SpongeBob? You also been multiplying SpongeBob scene two. Yeah, just a big no. Just please never do that again. Also, you got, I, I mean, Spongebob is okay, but just, that's, you just really fucked Spongebob in this movie. Now, for Say Chicks Family, I do really think it was awesome to see them returning, actually for them, not returning, but for the, um, helping to help together. And I do love seeing Sunny have her own family, so that's good. Sure, I'm not happy with what they did to the nieces, but however, but however, yeah, it's still good. Also, I do really enjoy the performance of Craig Robinson and Greg Delia. You may all know her from a lot of movies, of course. I do really enjoy that because they did a really good job with the um, forest, I think. And speaking of the forest cast, I like the original actors of Spongebob. Did a good job, as always. But however, St. Chief's family did get a lot of attention in this movie. I understand that it was like the middle of the movie until the end of the movie, so that pretty makes sense, but... They didn't give much attention to their personalities and everything. Sure, they're okay, but that doesn't make no sense how this movie was. As for the like the rest of the characters, they're just one dimensional and just doesn't get much attention at all. Also, you got like Sunny Cheeks's whatever that Wobble Horse character, whatever that is, and who even was that character anyway? Because we never even get to see him before. But I don't know. I mean, he doesn't really get to do nothing. He doesn't. He do nothing. He just stand there waiting until the keyboard comes back. That's it. Just nothing. He, he doesn't do nothing. You could have brought him to this. Seriously. You could have even brought him to help with Spongebob. Whoever that kind of was. But talk about that robo horse. Whatever. Count. Please count. Also, you got Patrick, Mr. Krabs, and Squidward, however. Just being a little bit focused and that's about it. Also, Plank only get like one or two scenes and that's it. They just, just do nothing. And the rest of the other background characters like Gary and Mr. Puff and Larry? Yeah, just a big no. They, they, they don't get to do much nothing. Also, I forgot to tell you about Larry the Lobster, the, the, the animation design, by the way. Yeah, it's bad. Just keep in mind. It, man, Larry the Lobster, did I tell you what. Now, let's talk about the live actors. Oh, wait, I'm not excited to talk about those. I mean, they're just really nothing. Now, I do not blame the actors. They did a good job that they could do. And I do, I, I do give credit that they did a good job what they could do. But I get it's acting. I mean, that makes sense. But good grief. Why do we even need a surface movie anyway? I mean, we really got a few of these already. But those, those two in the pup, however, they don't do nothing in this movie. Like, really nothing at all. So what's the point? What's the point? And also, I can't believe this. Last but not least, the worst villain I have ever seen, and I'm gonna call it one of Sykes' villain. Because I'm not good with the name, you know. You guys made one of Sykes terrible in this movie. You made her really, really bad in this movie. I feel sorry for one of Sykes. I really do. I really feel sorry for one of Sykes in this movie. You got her being. The, wants the fish, right? Like she wants fish. Oh, she wants the color of fish and everything. Oh yeah, the backstory of foot is shit. The back, the filling plan is shit. The pup is sh the, the the whatever you want to call it is just shit. And also, the freaking CGI of one of Sykes' body, however, is just shit. Not only by that, there was one scene when everyone was sad at Sunny Cheeks for what she did. And that was just stupid. I, I'm I'm not gonna bring this up. It's just stupid. However, also the the backstory of Warner Socks, by the way, why? Why the Photoshop on the head? A Photoshop on her head. Are you kidding me? The Photoshop on her head about fish. What? What the heck you do with her head? 
this has got to be one of the worst backstories I've ever seen, by the way. Keep in mind. Also, one of Sonic's being a fish at the end is just stupid. And it's just really cussed, by the way. So yeah, thank you for much winning one of Sonic's in this movie, Netflix. I do really appreciate that you're doing this stupid crap. Yeah, the feeling is just stupid and terrible. And especially pointless as well. Just, let's just get this done right now. I'm going to get this done in this movie. You know, I'm just going to say this right now. Some of the characters are okay and decent, but some of them are just shit. Not only because this movie, however, was, um... The movie, however, let me just say this now. This is just the worst Spongebob movie I have ever seen. I'm not kidding. This is the worst Spongebob movie I have ever seen for this year. Don't get me wrong, I still love Spongebob. But if you just keep in mind, this movie has pretty ruined it, by the way. And you know what's really worse about this? We're getting two more new Spongebob movies coming next year. The Plankton movie and the Search of Square Pants. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? You guys have already made Stephen Hellbrook in the wall in the grave. You guys have really just ruined this, by the way. Yeah, I knew this movie was so bad. Even though this movie was leaked back in January. But let me just tell you this. Yeah, it's still bad. So bad. And I still hate it, by the way. Save the key bond in the same chicks movie may not be the worst thing of this franchise, but this is the worst movie from this franchise so far. Now, I won't say this, this is not really the worst movie in 2024, because we already know what that movie will be, and this is from DreamWorks, by the way. I can't tell you what it is. You have to see it for yourself. It, it's from DreamWorks. I can't tell you what it is. It's from a sequel, but I can't tell you what it is. Seriously, I can't tell you what that movie is. But you have to look and you have to think of it yourselves. But yeah, um, yeah, this is the worst movie from this year, by the way. Not the really worst from 2024, no, because I already know what that movie is. But this is the worst top five worst for this year. The story was just completely weak and not good at all. The animation was so bad and downgraded at the same time. Some of the characters were okay to not good and pretty stupid, by the way. And the feeling was freaking pointless. That, I mean, I feel sorry for Warren Sykes, you know. And the, you, the songs were okay, but just not the best, in my opinion. My recommendations for this movie, just don't, just please, whatever you all do, just don't watch this movie. Do not watch this Spongebob movie. I'm only recommending you guys watch the free Spongebob movies and that's it. I get Nickelodeon's out of ideas, but Nickelodeon doesn't even care. Yeah, keep making Spongebob all you want, Nickelodeon, but that doesn't gonna be saving much. Nicktoon has already been doing this shit already, and it still keeps going. But you know what? I'm not gonna keep saying this any longer. I already talked about this before, and I'm done talking about this movie for now, until the top 5 best and worst. So you know what? For this Santa Chicks movie, I, I feel sorry for Santa Chicks, you know. You know, I feel sorry for her. I, I do really feel sorry for Santa Chicks. She deserves to have a movie, yes, but this guy will really because of things like I just said. The only recommendation I'm going to give this to this movie is just kids. Again, this is a kids movie, but this is a kids movie for general for kids. Yeah, I get it. This is a kids movie. I will give that. This is the this is for kids. This movie is for kids. And I would recommend this for kids only. But if you guys love Spongebob like me, I'm only recommending you all watch the free Spongebob movies instead. And yes, I am counting Sponge on the one too because I found decent and good. But however, you know how I am with it. But however, it's my opinion, you know. And that's all I can say. But for this movie, yeah, this movie was already been bad at the start. And not only because it's so bad for this year, it's like the, almost the worst movie in 2024. But luckily it's not like the worst one because I don't know what that movie would be. I can't tell you what it is, but you see it for yourself. But for this movie, I am giving this a 3 out of 10. A terrible Spongebob movie that I feel sorry of, but this movie is still getting a 3 out of 10. Because it's still a bad movie. It's bad. It's so bad. I can't... I, I mean... And you know what? I'm not even really excited for the Plankton movie evil, and I'm not excited for such a square pants after what they did. But the only thing I can think of such a square pants, they brought back the with some the old wider from the 1999 SpongeBob kind of thing, so I'm only kind of excited in the Plankton movie. 
But I tell you what, I swear, bro, if you if you do the same animation of the Plankton movie, this is not gonna be good and fun at all. You guys have ruined the same Chase movie, so what's next? What's next, Netflix? Freaking fuck up more ending. Stupid, that's dumb. You know what? I'm done talking about this movie. This movie's still getting a 3 out of 10. Thank God I'm not talking about this movie right now. Look, I still love Spongebob, but this movie is just pretty ruined. I'm glad I'm done talking about this movie. I'm done. Well, thank you all so much for watching my movie review, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, notification bell. I am not excited for the next two Spongebob movies coming out in 2025, because you know why, and I'm not excited about it. But... Well, it has to be due. Nickelodeon has to give a shit so it keeps looking Spongebob to death. So, that's all I can say. That's it. I'm so... Yeah, this is the worst Spongebob movie I've ever seen. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just pretty worse. I'm done. I'm talking about this. But the only one time I'm at the moment is gonna talk about this movie one more time is gonna be the top five best and worst, and that's it. I'm done. I'm done. 30k subscribers. Fuck this movie.